What's up guys? This is Morpheus with another classic era informational video. I'm so stoked, man. I really couldn't be more stoked about this. Check this out. The servers have just absolutely blown up in population. You know, they were already growing a lot and it's just kind of gone even more exponentially recently. The announcement of the new seasons of Discovery to come out at the end of this month, November 30th, has really just had that additional push of, um, you know, excitement in the classic era community and that boost in, in activity. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give a tour of the classic era servers, just kind of showing you uh, all the madness that's going on right now. But I'm also gonna talk about the Seasons of Discovery announcement. I think it's super cool. I think a lot of us are really excited about it. So I'm gonna give my opinion on it. And I'm also gonna talk about what that means for, for classic era moving forward. And yeah, let's just check this out, man. As you just saw, 55,000 items on the auction house, super cool. And as a reminder for those who don't know, this is on the white main server, uh, the North American servers. And in the description of the video, if you kind of scroll down to the bottom, I have a list of what servers are included in that cluster, because it's actually about 11 servers combined into one. So one of the first topics I want to cover in this video is PVP. So why don't we run on over to the queuing area in Stormwind for Alliance players. PvP has absolutely been popping off. Um, world PvP especially, which uh, is really what motivates me to log in. Uh, but Battlegrounds also been popping off. It's been a lot of AV. As many of you know, they did change the PvP system. You know, I don't really know why they felt the need to change it, but they did. Um, maybe because they felt like it was too much in players' power, right? Players were kind of dictating who was going to get rank 14 that week. Um, and that's how it's been for a long time, but they did finally change that. Check this out. Alteric Valley, 11 games going on at once. 11 games. Um, so that's a lot, which is awesome. Average queue time, 5 minutes. I mean, that's great, right? So with the new PvP system, your honor does not decay. It just continues to stack, making it a lot easier to rank up, get rank 14. Some benefits to that, however... This is the problem, though. Look at that. Only one Warsong Gulch. Don't like to see that. You know, so, and, and AV did pop very quickly, I think in like three minutes, then it was a 14 minute game. So as you can tell, people are really just busting through those AVs, trying to grind honor. And um, understandable, if you need to gear up, it's a really good way to, to gear up. Um, and at least there is a lot of queues going on, which is awesome. But we do need to get some more Warsong games going. So, um, you know, if you if you watch this video, if you're a fan, queue up Warsong when you're queuing AV. That's my little plug. <laughs> my PvP plug is uh, queue Warsong as well. So yeah, that's, let's go ahead and run over to Ironforge um, and, and check out Ironforge. And then after Ironforge, let's go ahead and check out Orgomara as well. It's always cool to see the gear, man. You know, people just run so many different setups and it's a lot of fun, as you can kind of tell with this, this paladin and this hunter here. I love to just see all the gear and the variety. You know, you got like a brand new level 60. Let's talk about world buffs too. As you can see, some of these players got world buffs. I have world buffs. Um, just constantly dropping, man, like pretty much on reset. Um, I would say on reset, uh, Oni buff is dropping, at least for Alliance for sure. I imagine for Horde it's the same. I see a lot of Horde running around with world buffs. Heart buff is just constant, man. You know, there's not really a, a cooldown on that one. So if you're on ZG Island, it's just constant. Check this out in Ironforge, man. We got a lot of players. Um, super, you know, I've always felt like that's a good test, right? That's a good test of the population is what's on the auction house and how many players are in the auxiliary cities. You know, it's understandable to see a lot of players in Stormwind, but when you start seeing quite a few players in Ironforge, you know, Thunderbluff, Undercity, those kind of auxiliary cities. Yo, this is, this is Rob. This is Rob the Rogue right here. Check this out. Oh man, it's been a while. Um, this was not planned. I promise you this was not planned. So Rob is a good friend of mine. I, man, I haven't probably talked to Rob in a few months. If you guys watch my videos, you know, I've had some pretty crazy dueling videos with Rob. We used to go out and do a lot of dueling and world PVP together. Super cool, dude. Check out that gear, man. Completely full bis rank 14 Grand Marshal Rogue. So yeah, you know, again, PvP area in Ironforge popping, a lot of players. So you love to see it. You know, you love to see a lot of people queuing. Let's see, what else can we check out? Let's go look at Orgamar. yeah? Let's go look at um, Horde. I feel like in the past in my videos, I've, as an Alliance player, I show a lot of Alliance activity, and I don't get to show a lot of Horde activity, and so I get a lot of people commenting, asking me about the Horde population. 
And I can tell you the breakdown to my knowledge, it's about 60-40, maybe even closer now to 50-50 in terms of Horde and Alliance. Um, so as much as you see the Alliance players, there's it's about a 1 to 1 ratio with Horde players, which is great. Um, so let's go sneak around Orgrimmar and see what we can see. I'm not sure if that's the if that's Peo or not, um, but kind of cool just standing out in front of Org. So check it out, man. I'm going to do my best to try to not die here. Um, as you can tell, man, Orgrimmar is popping, and that makes me happy um, to see this. You know, it was not that long ago, man, I used to sneak around Org and, and try to kill players and just empty. You know, completely empty. That was probably four or five months ago. So really cool to see how much the game has changed in just a short period of time. You know, if you keep up with my videos, you know I've kind of shown this gradual progression of the increase in population of the Classic Era servers, and I'm really happy to just see that continuing to grow. And then now, of course, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I really feel like the announcement of Seasons of Discovery has just further pushed that excitement for classic gameplay and push that excitement for the original World of Warcraft maps and zones and, and gameplay. So I think this is a good time just to transition into talking about the Seasons of Discovery. So it's going to come out soon, you know, in about two weeks, November 30th. And they talked about a level 25 cap and then phasing in the levels and then having in-game content with the gradual phase in. Um, super cool concept, you know, I think a lot of people, the reason players like Fresh is it evens the playing ground, right? Like right now, if you logged into Classic Era and made a new character and leveled up, there's going to be a lot of Nax players. You know, I just showed Rob, you can see the gear of these players while I run around, you know. Going to be a lot of just full bis, close to full bis players, and you're really behind the curve, you know. It doesn't mean you can't catch up, but that is... That is an issue. So people like fresh because you get that fresh start. You're on the exact same playing field as the other players. You can level up with them. There's also usually a lot of hype. So a lot of people running and leveling at the same time, trying to get world first, that kind of stuff. It's exciting, right? I think the biggest change that we're going to see, which a lot of people are going to be really excited about, is this concept of Classic Plus, right? Really like changing the game, doing some different things with the game, seeing new content, seeing new builds kind of a, a potential rebalancing of classes. You know, when, when Classic Era originally came out, people really wanted it to be the same, right? Because we had gone so far from what the original World of Warcraft had been in retail, people really wanted to see that nostalgia and see the original game in its, its sort of original form, which is fair. And then we did that, right? We played and we went through TBC, we went through Wrath, um, and now they're going to release Cataclysm as well. So we've, we've done that. Also, check this out. BRM, by the way, I'm just going to jump in real quick and transition topics just for a moment. Look at this just absolute madness. You know, the world PvP, a lot of fun. And that makes me really happy to see. Um, I like 1v1s, so, and I'm a druid, <laughs> so I'm a little biased against fighting inside in BRM. But it does make me stoked to see all this. Um, looks like Alliance has it right now, but that absolutely changes. I've definitely come here and Horde has been holding it down. And, uh, yeah, any Alliance player that, that tries to enter is going to have to put up a fight. So you love to see all these bodies and it changes regularly. Like I've logged in and checked on it multiple times and it'll just be a whole new set of mass skeletons on the ground. So super cool to see that. If you're running to <laughs> Upper Blackrock Spire, if you're running to BWL, uh, it's going to be a fight, just know that. But it makes me happy to see all the active world PvP. All right, let's jump back into the topic of Seasons of Discovery. Um, what I was saying is I think people are ready to try something new um, with within this like original zone to try some new stuff. Rebalancing the classes, as we've continued to play Classic Era, we were sort of reminded of the lack of balance in classes as someone who plays a druid, I can absolutely attest to the fact that I go oom, um, you know, within about 20 seconds of a fight, <laughs> um, whereas other players can really maintain that mana. So, you know, there's absolutely a discrepancy in the classes. So a little bit of a rebalancing will be cool. Re-envisioning, you know, 
maxing it at level 20 i think is going to be really cool because it's going to force players to focus early on the early on development of their character um, and with the transitions of the runes i think that's going to give it a really cool new experience um, again just momentarily transitioning you know zg island yojamba island is just kind of madness if you go there expect to put up a fight and again, head buffs just constantly dropping. We're kind of fighting right now for head buff. Um, but the runes are going to be really cool. The fact and the concept that they're really focusing on of having a player being able to use abilities from a different class, right? So I'm a druid. To be able to potentially use some warrior moves, to potentially use some warlock moves as a druid, a pal you know, maybe even paladin or shaman, I think we're going to see a lot of new exploration right discovery that's what they're emphasizing on how to play the game um, and especially now that we're like what like 17 years in to world of warcraft being a game you know there are players out there with some really extensive knowledge of all the classes and so to see them come in and to be able to sort of mix and match and kind of bring some of the best of different classes and putting it in together i think we're going to see some really crazy min maxing gameplay um, which I'm really excited about. So that, plus the emphasis on world PvP, they said they're going to have world PvP events, world PvP zones, super cool. Um, and then for the PvEers, you know, 10-man raids, um, they said, what was it, Ragefire Chasm, No Morangan, Scarlet Monastery, phasing those in, having them 10-man raids, going to be super cool. So I'm excited for Seasons of Discovery. Additionally, I just want to add this too. One of the reasons I think Seasons of Discovery is going to be a really big success is because the way Blizzard is transitioning the things that they focus on in terms of developing the game. You know, World of Warcraft had a consistent increase of players up until Wrath of Lich King, right? And then Cataclysm was the first expansion that they ever started to see a decrease in the number of active players. And it wasn't until they started releasing uh, classic, right, classic vanilla and then TBC, so on and so forth, that they actually started seeing once again an increase in players. And I feel like since that transition, they have started recognizing that actually listening to the players and making those changes has actually really worked in their favor. Who would have thought, right? So we saw with Hardcore, I thought that was a really good example of a lot of players were playing Hardcore on classic servers. They were just sort of creating these servers in this scenario of hardcore and blizzard recognized players like that so they came out with official hardcore servers right people were pushing for uh some some clout some fresh so they came out with seasons of mastery and then now here we are with seasons of discovery more recently than not i think blizzard has really trying to take into account what players like and um, i'm excited I, I think the focus is going to to be in the right direction and that we're going to have a lot of fun with Seasons of Discovery. I'm just happy that people are playing the, the game and enjoying it, you know. So that's my piece. That was my tour of the servers. Um, I hope that gets you guys excited about Classic Era, gets you excited about Seasons of Discovery. Yeah, man, hope to see you guys out there. If you see me, say what's up, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.